Have you ever worked in Cheeto Box and you were trying to make drain holes in your 3D print, but no matter what you tried, you couldn't get it to work? Well, I've solved that problem and it's worked all the time for me. The first thing I'm doing is I'm putting in my 3D piece that I'm working on. It, it so happens to be some rocks for the Green Hornet diorama I'm working on. Once I have it set up to the position I want, I'm going to hit the hollow button, let the piece hollow out. And as you can see here, the piece is hollowing out just fine. Now that the piece is hollowed out, I'm going over to the dig a hole button and I'm going to just start clicking. And as you can see, there are no holes being made. And this happens because of the geometry or the complexity of the piece. So what I do is I go hit save as, make sure that I save the file as an STL file. Once I have it saved, I open up 3D Builder. I load the object into 3D Builder. I hit import. Now, if there's anything wrong with it, this little box is going to pop up underneath. I'm going to go down to the right hand corner, hit the repair button, and let it repair. This could take a while, so just be patient. This took about 10 minutes to repair. Once the piece is repaired, the box will go away. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top toolbar and I'm going to hit the edit button. Once I'm in edit, I'm going to hit hollow here, not in Cheeto box, and I'm going to make sure that my walls are set to two millimeters. You'll see in the bottom right hand corner again that it says it's working. Once the working icon goes away, you know that the piece is ready. You're going to go top left, hit hollow, and once it's done hollowing, it's going to come back to a solid image. Again, hit save as, make it a new name, but make sure you save it as an STL file again. Make sure it's a name that you know this is the file that you just fixed in 3D Builder. Now that you have it saved, bring it back into Cheeto Box, pull down the bar, make sure that it is hollowed out. Once you know that it's hollowed out, go up to the hollow button, adjust your depth to where you want it set. I usually start off at eight millimeters. This is a good depth. If it's not good enough, I adjust from there. I hit add a hole and boom, here we go. Now I'm able to add holes anywhere I want to this 3D object and it'll be able to drain just by quickly going into 3D Builder, hollowing it out, making sure everything's correct, and bringing it back into Cheeto Box. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.